This is the fifth year, I think, that I've been on this beam asking for your support of the Higher Holiday Match and Gift Campaign. The annual campaign raises leadership gifts from our congregation in the sum of $10,000, $5,000, $2,500, and $1,250. And these contributions create a pool of funds that make it possible for us to match other gifts two to one from now until the end of the year. There's always a question about how much is how much information is given out about our budget no. and our numbers. I'm looking at our financial secretary who is smirking over there. Um, I'd like you to know that when we first started this campaign, the number raised was ten thousand dollars. Last year we raised a hundred and sixteen thousand. Now, in the real world, that's not a ton of money. But in our world, it's a very significant percentage of the budget. This year, I'm not going to tell you about all the wonderful programs and services our shul delivers to the community, or the advances in technology and security that have changed the way we do business, or the ideas and planning for growth and physical plant enhancement that we have imagined and we have discussed at length. I'm going to talk about the need for all of us to be engaged. I think that tags on to the rabbi's sermon this morning. I'm borrowing from Scott Galloway's recommended word that we heard over and over again during the excellent interview with Debbie Epstein Henry. And that word was engage. Engage in our shul services. Engage in our programs. Engage in our events. And engage in our community. Become an active member of this community and engage friends and neighbors and relatives in conversation about the fearsome and frightening anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism that grows daily. We need to talk about it. We need to counteract the lies and the untruths spread by social media and indeed by the US press about the horrors inflicted on Israeli women and men and babies on October 7th and the ongoing nightmare that has ensued in all of the Middle East, all of the victims on both sides. We need to speak out and we need to speak up. When we consider the justifiable fear among Jewish young people and students, when Holocaust survivors remind us that this is just like the 1930s, when history shows us that keeping quiet and keeping a low profile results in unspeakable outcomes. We need to speak up and we need to speak out. Anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism is no longer swimming around below the surface, just politely invisible. Now it's up in our faces. It threatens us on all levels. In the most prestigious universities, in neighborhoods, in the voting booth, and yes, even in a sanctuary where we never expected to be called a racist. And that's why we need to support our shul. We need the safety and support of our Jewish community. We need the camaraderie of friends and neighbors in an environment where we can talk and work and even cry. We need it now, not tomorrow, not next month, not next year. Not when we think we will have more time and more bandwidth. 
I say that because my family is under the continual barrage of missiles in Israel. They have to go into safe houses, safe rooms, and stop the car on the highway and get out and, and stay in a ditch to escape this, the shrapnel of the missiles that escape the Iron Dome. And two of my grandchildren are lone soldiers in the IDF. They are being called up again to serve in Gaza and East Jerusalem. Relatives are fighting in Lebanon. A daughter and father were murdered by terrorists while serving as police officers. And all of those things are part of the reasons that we must sustain, strengthen and sustain our infrastructure. Your gifts this holiday will help us support our community when our costs are higher and when the community is more important to each of us. This is a time when we need the comfort and safety and support of our friends and neighbors. This is also not just a time about giving money, it is also about giving your time. Believe me, when you do, the payback is worth it. In our show, we keep the overhead unbelievably low. We operate on a tiny budget. Nancy will keep me from saying what it is, but it is a very tiny budget. So the money that we raise during the high holidays represents a very, very large percentage of our revenue. The reason we can do that is because we have a great number of um, volunteers and board members who keep our costs so low. So I'm going to ask that we recognize them tonight, today, and say thank you. Sarah Bloom, President. Joanna Paulson, Vice President. Karen DeMell, who's on the screen, Treasurer. Liz Adams, Recording Secretary. Elaine Goldman on the screen. Corresponding Secretary, Nancy Torchio, Financial Secretary, Adrian Greenberg, Sisterhood President, Sisterhood Chair, Chair President, and members at large, Gordon Henry, Madeline Rothman, Lou Tepperman, Rena Weissman, and the immediate past president. That's me. So, I close with the words of David Ben-Gurion. In Israel, in order to be a realist, you must believe in miracles. And I also believe that so goes Israel, so go the Jews around the world, which is why we need a strong Jewish community right here on the North Floor. And we need you, everybody. We need your support to make that happen. Thank you.